What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about modifying your RK one up counter case, specifically these new third generation two player versions. You know, when these originally came out, one of the biggest challenges with modifying these was the fact that those LCD monitors were just they were just washed out. No matter what you did with controls and, and graphics and adding lit marquees, you just couldn't get around those things. And sometimes in the case of my Marvel vs. Capcom 3 project, I just completely took that monitor out and replaced it with something else entirely. But that adds a lot of cost uh, to what should be a nice, cheap, modified cabinet. So when RK OneUp introduced this third generation, we were all happy to see that the monitors were absolutely stunning, which meant that all we really needed was an HDMI breakout board so that we could plug anything we wanted into that monitor. And leave it to Geek Sales to come through again with a new HDMI breakout board for these new Generation 3 countercades. Links for their eBay store will be in the description below. You're going to get everything you see here. And there's also a separate version that includes a VGA input. And the only real difference between that kit and this is going to be this VGA to HDMI adapter. And the first step in the installation process is going to be to spin that counter kit around and remove that rear panel because basically what we're going to do is remove the stock PCB and this new HDMI breakout board is going to take its place. Go ahead and remove the power cord and then the two screws that hold the PCB cover in place. And also be careful, there is an on off switch that is connected to the PCB with two wires. So make sure you pull that away carefully, then disconnect that. Now disconnect all remaining cables and wires and take special care when removing the ribbon cable that connects to the LCD monitor. Once you're done with that, remove the four screws, Phillips head screws, that hold the PCB in place and then set the PCB off to the side. The 3D printed bracket that's included in the kit is held in place with three of the four stock screws. Okay, it's time to connect that ribbon cable and make sure that the black bail on the connector on the board is flipped up towards you. And if you're going to manipulate that ribbon cable, be very careful. I have a set of tweezers here that I've wrapped some Tessa tape around just to make sure that I don't do any damage to that cable. Once you're done, flip down the black bail and you're good to go. Also included in the kit is one long bolt that's going to secure this LCD option board in place. Now on the bottom side of your control panel is an encoder and we want to go ahead and remove the plug for the power switch and for the volume control. And now you can connect the on off button and the volume switch to the new Geek Sales wiring harness. The last connection is going to be to the stock speaker and it's important to note that there are different connectors based on different versions of your cabinet so not every connector is going to be used. And speaking of connectors that aren't going to be used you're also not going to have anywhere to plug in your USB, headphone jack or your lit marquee. Alright so there you have it another kit from Geek Selves that works as advertised you know it does everything that version 2 did but they really don't offer anything new for version 3. We're still not utilizing the on off switch mounted on the control deck but the volume uh, function is still there. Now I do think that this version is so much more important because we have a better screen to take advantage of. When it came to version one and two, those screens were very washed out and you were sort of limited to that display no matter what the input was. And you can see I'm running a Dreamcast right now and the retro console seems to do really well uh, with the aspect ratios. If you go with like a PlayStation 1 Classic, a PlayStation 1 Mini, it uh, sort of crops the image down, um, but I'm running this through a Pound Technologies HDMI cable and it seems to do really well. You have a slight border to the left and the right, but beyond that, it looks really good. All right, hold up just one second. Just when you thought everything was okay, I'm sitting here, I'm recording this video and I had to add this little caveat. When I took all that off of the Mortal Kombat counter kit, the stuff that you just saw me install and put it back in the stock configuration, it messed my monitor up somehow. I think it maybe just adjusted some brightness or something. I don't know. But when you put your stock PCB back on, you lose the ability to control or adjust anything. So I don't know if this is permanent damage or not, but just so you're aware, this could be a one-way deal. Don't think you can just put this on and then go right back to stock configuration 
with no issues. So that's just my experience. Your mileage may vary. Now back to the video. And of course, with this kit, now you're going to have the ability to really mod this thing in whatever way you see fit. And I can't wait to see what the community is going to come up with. As for me, I've got a couple ideas. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Y'all have a blessed day and I will see you next time.